yeah, Shabab, to a brand new video on this uh, tutorial series. As you can see now, my backend application is successfully running. Uh, we have set some things up here. Um, or we don't use any profile. We you, you basically we just use a default profile. Uh, the application of YAML. Later we will add a development um, YAML. As you can see, we we are using port 9090, which we specified here in the um, in the environment variables. As you can see, server port 9090. Okay, that's good. Okay, 9090. Uh, yeah, the application is running. Tomcat ports 9090. Marhaba Shabab. Uh, now let's see, test our endpoints manually. Uh, localhost 9090 API open tasks. Uh, just first, let's fetch for all tasks. Uh, yeah, now we have no tasks. That's why I prepared something. Um, here, I just prepared at the, with the postman our endpoint create API slash create. Because if you t take a look at our controller, the controller is here runs over API, and then we have here the create endpoint. And uh, yeah, I will just create a new task by Hommas. So, and send. Ah, nice. We have, I already had in my table some values before. That's why it starts with the ID 7. For you, it should start with the ID 1. Now refresh. Okay. This should, as you can see, is task open. It should not be in the endpoint closed tasks. As you can see, closed task is empty. Let's look up for the open tasks. There it is. Nice. Create another endpoint, uh, another entry. Uh, so basically delete everything. Uh, next thing is, will be uh, it shawarma. Shawarma, shawarma, nice. Just give it another date. And this should be a closed task because I was already uh, um, shawarma eating, you know. And that is shit done. Uh, yeah, now let's add this one ID 8, number Rakam Fermania. Uh, nice, okay. Our open task is still just has one task. And here the closed tasks has now a shawarma. And oh, task should have all tasks closed and opened. Another thing we can also test, we, as you can see, we have people's the ID 7 and 8. Just we can look up for something. Um, just say we have our endpoint, which is basically this one task with the ID. Just say task, say take the 8 for instance, and it just doesn't, as you can see, now it just returns one object. That's great, that's great. Mm, good, good, good. What I mean now we can just manually test all the other endpoints. Uh, basically, we I mean we now in the browser we can we did testing for the get endpoints. We just did a post. Uh, now we just can do a patch. Let's do a patch. I will, I will just save it in my collection. Nice. Uh, this will be, as I said, will be patch. Uh, just, I mean, the thing is, we will just do one thing. We just will update, I don't know, uh, the priority. Uh, but first, uh, da, 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 
after. How does our endpoint look like? Oh, we have a typo in here on our sieve on our sieve. The thing is, what we are, need to do right now is to stop. God damn it, we have a typo in here. Say update. Now it's it's good. Now it's good. Nice, nice. Start again the application. In the meanwhile, we will just prepare the statement. Copy this one. Paste it here. Make sure this is patch. Then remove this one and boot it up. That's nice. Copy paste this part here. Update and here we need the uh, ID. Let's take the seven. Go to the body raw JSON and yeah. Okay. I'll just make sure that everything is running again. Yeah, it's, it runs. Uh, let's go to number seven and say the priority should be. And by hummus needs to be high priority. <laughs> so it should be high priority. And yeah, now I'll send a request. Should work. Alhamdulillah, thanks to God it works. So if we now you see it updated, that's pretty nice. And yeah, now what we can do now we have updated this thing, uh, this uh, task, uh, just local all tasks. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I think we can now delete the shawarma to test our delete endpoint. Make sure you select delete. Copy, paste, um, as you might know, this is delete, not seven, but eight we will delete, and set up the request. Task with the ID has been deleted. Nice. Relative. Manual. As you can see, we only have one um, entry here. And but but what happens now when we if we want to delete it again? Ah, as you can see, task not found exception. Task does not exist. Uh, that works. And so we we know our, uh, our our exception handling works 